All right, guys, so currently you join me on a very important mission. You see here, this PC, I've said in several shorts that this is the old PC that can run Windows 11 on. Right, currently, it's loading the Windows installer. And you see here, this right here has a Pentium 4 631, okay? And theoretically, it's also capable with the RTX 57, but let's get, we're not focusing on that right now. So let's go and see how long it takes to install. Also, the camera is struggling. There you go. All right, thank you, camera. Yes. This is slow. Oh yeah, did I tell you? Um, uh, this Pentium 4 is not really quick. It's not. It's almost slower than an Atom. All right, and we're gonna be paying a 5070. That's the fun part. All right, there is my SSD. Let's go ahead and delete it. This is um uh, taking a little bit. Yeah, this has an SSD, and also just for recap on the specs. What do I mean by recap? Oh yeah, if you guys saw short, you guys know this thing has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. So. Windows 11 isn't gonna run great on it, but it'll it'll run, all right. Yes. Okay. Next. All right. Let's go and see how long it takes to load. All right. And three, two, one, go. Oh wait, actually, not yet. Just give me a second. Never mind. I'm too lazy to get um. Uh, what do you call those things? Oh yeah, a timer. Stopwatch rather. All right. Let's go and see how long it takes to load. By the way, this is Tiny 1123H2, which is the latest version of Windows 11 this Pentium 4 can run without some, you know, extreme, um, uh, patches, like, you know, removing the SSC 4.2 requirement from Windows 11 24 2 which is almost impossible. So far, no one's figured that out yet. Alright, yeah, this, um, uh, this Pentium 4 ain't exactly the most efficient because of all of that. But anyways, I'm gonna stop. Okay, let's go ahead and just get on with the, um, uh, fast forward, okay? Hopefully this, uh, this doesn't fill up my phone. All right, okay, let's go, let's go. Windows 11 on a Pentium 4, baby. We don't have any graphics drivers either, although I will install 5070, so I mean, who cares? All right, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Yeah, this is, um, uh, this is gonna take quite a while. All right, but yeah, that took like, what, like 20 minutes to just, ins in just copy the files, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, uh, skip this part for you guys because this is literally gonna take hours probably and my phone doesn't have much space all right anyways guys see you see you guys on the desktop all right so guys we're gonna go ahead and um uh, well we're gonna we're gonna play this game you know this game is um uh, yeah let's go and see how well it runs oh oh yeah oh yeah yeah um uh I'm gonna exit. All right, but yeah, I just wanted to play that because basically this is a game web 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 browser game that you know is known to lag without graphics drivers. So uh, yeah. Anyways, let's try and get to the desktop. All right, so you guys join me in the desktop now. I might be wondering why has the time changed? Why has my voice changed a little bit? Probably as well. Um, well, you see here, you see all these games that I installed. Guess how long they took. Days, almost a full week. This PC is painfully slow. Like, 
Yeah, I wish I never had started to use this thing. But as you can see here, here it is. Our Pentium 4 3 gigahertz. Pentium 4 631. As you can see here, on idle, doing literally nothing, well, maybe antivirus stuff, we're already using like 1.5 gigs of RAM. So if you go and excuse me, let me just go ahead and disable that stuff. I didn't log into anything, because if I'm gonna be honest, um, I'm, I don't trust that this is gonna run good with, my, with a Microsoft account logged in. So uh, yeah. Anyways, this is Windows 11 23 H2. It's relatively modern-ish. Um, let's see here. I need to disable more stuff. Turn off real-time protection. We don't like that crap. Alright, we're just gonna minimize this. This takes up, like, maybe 1% of the, of the Pentium 4, so it, it's fine. Alright, Firefox. We have Firefox. We also have Steam. We also have BeamNG. Yes, I will be putting an RX480 in here, but look here. Not, but look here. Next video, RTX 57. So look here. Um, this video is not the benchmarks for, um, uh, shut up. Um, this video is not gonna not be the benchmarks, like the gaming benchmarks. If you want to see that, make sure to, um, uh, stay tuned and wait for the next video, which I will drop an RX480 in. And then, the video after that, I will go ahead and drop in an RTX 5070 and see if this can ray trace. The reason why I'm doing the RX480 first, oh, I'm gonna have to black this out. The reason why I'm doing the RX480 first is, um, uh, because, well, yeah, I don't want to, just in case if something bad happens, I don't want to, you know, I don't want my RTX 5070 to die. I'd rather my RX 480 die, because my RTX 5070 is worth about six, well, actually, wait, hang on a second, 600 divided by, f divided by 40, or 30, 30 rather, actually 40, I would say. 600 divided by 40, I can't do that basic math, um, but it's like more than 10, okay, probably like 12. Okay, Wi-Fi is connected, let's see how well this thing browses. Now, keep in mind that we are testing this with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Now, you see here, um, uh, this shouldn't be too much of an issue, hopefully. Okay, let's, so look here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some, uh, some, what do you call it? Oh yeah, some more um, page file memory and I'll go and be right back. All right, so I've added four gigabytes of total page file memory, so we have like, what, like three times almost the page file memory of actual memory. Um, so, yeah, this is slow. CPU is maxed out. Let me just go ahead and, um, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. There are no graphics drivers for this poopy little Intel chipset in here. It's the 915 chipset, and as you guys know, if you've seen any of those videos, you guys know that 915 chipset has no support at all. Oh my god. Task manager is using 7% of the memory and 20% of the processor. I have never seen that happen. Like, never. Okay, let's go ahead. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make this low. As you see here, we do not have the CPU cycles to um, uh, load this in properly. Okay, is task manager... Yeah, task manager is dropping. Um, Firefox is still maxed out, basically. Actually, you know what? Eh, screw it. I'm gonna set it back to normal. We're gonna use this, which I think this is a little more optimized. Okay, so, this right here shows our stats. Currently, with one new tab open, we are using 93% of our system memory. Let's go ahead and see if we can load into YouTube. I guarantee you we can. Because we have literally 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. You know what, just for good measure... Actually, I wonder. Before we load in... I seriously wonder, what is taking up all of our memory? Okay, so, 50% of it's Firefox, okay. Desktop Windows Manager, Windows Explorer. Is this Windows Update? Oh my god, it is. Shut the heck up. Oh, something crashed. Yeah, I think the, the PC is crashed. As you can see here, this is the real-time experience of this slow Pentium 4. It is just, it is just a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll go ahead and head over back to you guys when I go ahead and try and disable the Windows updates. Okay, I'm back, and I've just disabled the Windows updates. I think Task Manager has crashed again. There you go. Jesus, this thing is... This thing is painfully slow. It constantly gives me that feeling of like, did it crash? 
No, 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 it's just extremely slow. <laughs> yeah, CPU just sits on idle. Why is Firefox still open? That is worrying. Why is it 32-bit? It's probably because there's not enough system memory, even though this is a 64-bit version of Windows 11, because the 32-bit version sort of exists, but not, not really. Why are you still running? I told you to shut up, Windows updates. This is why I don't like Windows. In fact, Task Manager is taking up 30... Is it trying to restart this? It's trying to restart the updates. It's trying to restart the updates. Shut up. Shut down. What is this? No, I don't want to do scan. Shut up. Please, shut up. Oh my gosh. This Pentium 4 is painful. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Look, look here. I'm not... I normally am used to slow computers, but this, this, this is a new definition of slow. Holy crap, okay. Let's just minimize that, because we don't have enough resources for that to accidentally turn back on again. Okay, let's check system memory usage. That's using 5% of the memory. It's actually using a little under 5 now. Okay, it's using 5%. Is it? Okay, okay, there you go. I'm going to just leave Windows Security open. I think Task Manager has crashed again. This is painful. I don't even want to try and browse the web with Windows 11 as our OS. This is just painful. It's using most of our memory doing nothing. What? I told you to shut up, Windows updates. It's still trying to do it. Microsoft push notification user. Windows update. Okay, Windows Update, let's, can we just specifically end that? Okay, I ended it, and it's still, what is going on? Why is it still floored? I'm literally doing nothing. Oh my gosh, this is, this is just painful. This is the Windows 11 Pentium 4 experience, guys. Pain and suffering. Now, yes, if we had more memory, we, it would be slightly better, but, but the, we already have a, pretty fast SSD in here, okay? It's SATA 2, but it's still a relatively fast SSD, okay? It's not it's not like it's like the cheapest thing in the world either. Alright. Yeah, this is this is just this is just horrible. Our Windows oh my god, Windows virus protection. I turned you off. You're off. You're off. How? Oh my gosh, this is painful. How is it still enabled? And why is the CPU being floored doing nothing? What the heck? Okay, let's go ahead and run just a CPU-Z benchmark. This thing cannot browse the web with Windows 11. It can't even load in a basic tab. Okay, come on. Come on. Please don't crash on me. I just want to open up CPU-Z. You can't even do that. My god, this thing is pathetic. This is, this was, this is even slower than I remembered. Oh my gosh. Come on. Load. Load. I have clicked on that. There, there should be a pop-up saying it's loading in. In fact, the desktop is frozen. The desktop is frozen. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. The stub received bad data. What? Okay. Wait, yes. There you go, oh my gosh, second time's the charm, just launching freaking CPU-Z. Let's close Task Manager, because that's like legitimately slowing our computer down by like 30%. And changing it to slow mode doesn't really help either, because it's rendering Task Manager is the problem. Not even just updating it. As you can see, here is our pathetic Pentium 4 631, with barely the instructions to one Windows 11. Here's the Packard, this motherboard. It's... Oh my gosh, this is even worse than I thought. I thought it was PCIe Gen 2, it's PCIe Gen 1. <laughs> you know how they measure, you know, PCIe Gen 5 in giga transfers per second and PCIe Gen 3 in gigabytes per second? This is measured in megabytes per second. This is pathetic. We have our 1.5 gigabytes of DDR memory. Um, now I will order two 2 gig sticks for the gaming section so I can launch this guy right here but not right now because um uh 
Currently I have two 256 meg sticks and two 512 meg sticks. So yeah, it's, it's horrible. At least it's, yeah, as you can see here, here it is. It's horrible memory configuration. Let's stress it out. There's no way this thing is getting 100. Okay, something is off here. This slow piece of crap somehow manages to almost beat the athlete. Holy crap, that is, what? Okay, something must be off here. Okay, let's run it one more time. It's getting 110 almost. In fact, I guarantee you if these Windows updates weren't there, they would get more. You see here, something tells me this CPU-Z benchmark is lying. You see here, basically the entirety of Netverse, basically what they were doing was they were lowering IPC, they were trying to up the clock speed as high as possible and add more heat and add more TDP because they wanted to have more clocks and less performance for some reason. So basically, so certain applications, probably like CPU-Z, the CPU, it would have a better prediction branch. And so basically, instead of, you know, it basically would help fast forward the processor if it was, you know, like doing something like a simple stress test. But for example, of loading in like a new thing or like loading in a new tab, the CPU has to handle different things that it can't predict. So it has to go down the pipeline. That's what it, it's known as a pipeline stall. Basically, that's what happens when you try and install um, uh, Windows, modern versions of Windows and web browse on a Pentium 4. It's, it's not usable. It's... I mean, it seems impressive considering it's almost beating the Athlon 2, which was able to, um, uh, well not Athlon 2, Athlon 64 times 2, which was able to play YouTube at 360p, which, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not usable, but it's close to. So, uh, yeah. What did we learn from today's video? Do not try this. Even if you do have it, don't try this. Unless if you have a lot of memory and a lot of patience. Just use, like... Linux or whatever. Even I'm saying it, and I legitimately, legitimately almost hate Linux. Okay, I wouldn't say hate hate. I would just say dislike. How about that? Even though I dislike Linux, I still recommend you use it because at least it doesn't max out the CPU doing freaking updates in the background. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's actually like I think it's lack of graphics driver, but it is lagging to like move the icons around. <laughs> that is that is honestly hilarious. Yeah, start menu takes like seconds to load in. I don't even dare log in because this Pentium 4 has no security features and well I mean even though Windows 11 does sort of cover for it it's still not good. Well look here guys next video I'm gonna play da, 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 on this computer okay and I'm gonna hopefully explode this boy okay by running Minecraft on it and getting like two FPS whatever it's gonna be worse than the app on next six, six to four times two which got three so i'm guessing two or one fps and one percent lows down to like zero or something like that <laughs> yeah anyways guys see you in the next video this this video is just a pain not not to record or to edit it's just this this computer right here this computer is a piece of mind my language here but a piece of shit, okay i hate this thing it is slow it is painful okay and it is hot too like the air coming from here is like hot like holy crap i did not want to put it there for more than two seconds yeah this thing this computer it is it is old i don't recommend you run anything higher than windows 7 on it maybe honestly i would recommend xp or linux so uh yeah let's go ahead and shut it down here as i don't want to deal with this thing any longer come on just just shut down please please this is hilarious i clicked on that a few seconds there you go are you even shutting down there you go, this is a little piece of crap. Alright, but anyways guys, see you next video, alright? This video was a painful to make, and I've already said that enough times, so yeah, just, yeah, see you in the next video. And remember to subscribe! Man, I had a voice crack.